from the Lumonics Light and Sound Gallery. How you doing? Fine, J. Bondi. Really nice uh, to have you here tonight. Yeah, thanks for having us back. We're about to do some mountain trance jamming, and it's always a pleasure to be here. Can you tell us a little bit about this place? Because it, it's visually stunning. Well, uh, basically it's the work of uh, Dorothy Tanner and her husband Mel Tanner who passed away. And, you know, Dorothy's been continuing to be uh, vitally involved in creating the artwork you see. And, uh, you know, she's really an amazing soul. Do you know how she got started in doing uh, this type of, well, it's not It's not just art, it's, it's more like, Sculptures, or yeah, it's light sculpture, but it's more uh, created as an installation, so that all the pieces kind of reflect off of each other, and it kind of creates an overall ambiance. Um, yeah, Dorothy was uh, and Mal both uh, started as more in, with more conventional media. Um, Mal was a painter, and Dorothy worked with uh, metal, with wood, um, all kinds of different. Things. And then when they came across uh, plexiglass in the uh, kind of the late 60s, it was uh, kind of a revelation for them because it was able they were able to light it, and that uh, opened up a whole new world of uh, of art for them. You guys also have bands and stuff come and play, right? Yeah, we do events here a couple of times a month where we bring in wonderful groups like Mountain Trance and. Uh, we have uh, events involving uh, some like new age media uh, forms like Reiki and tuning forks and uh, yeah, that kind of thing also. So uh, and kind of mixing it up and dance is an important part of it. So we like to kind of mix it up a lot. Now one uh, one amazing unique thing I've noticed is that some of the sculptures actually uh, they change. To the music. Right. We have the whole uh, performance space set up in uh, DMX so that we could kind of uh, play the room with from a keyboard or just uh, control it so that it has a sort of a life of its own, too. So, wow. Yeah, so really it amazing. really works very nicely in, in conjunction with music. It's very unique. Does anybody else around here even do anything like that? I don't know. We've been sort of, uh, I mean, it's. People are definitely more interested in lighting and more, and DMX has become more popular in the clubs and everything. But you know, we just do it with our own work, so it has a different vibe. Definitely cutting edge. So, uh, is this stuff for sale? Yeah, yeah. Most of the pieces are, and then we have a whole group that are um, limited editions that are less expensive, so that they're multiples. So that uh, they're not one of a kind, but they're part of a series. And we're also exploring uh, leasing art, so people could actually take home art with them and keep it and see how they like it. And uh, is Dorothy's art available in other galleries too? Or uh, she recently had a show down at um, Vertigo Gallery on Santa Fe, and that was a real successful show. It really got a lot of people coming in. Well, it's the Cutting Edge Gallery. Where can people find uh, more information about it? Uh, Lumonics.net on the web or DorothyTanner.com. You got a Facebook, right? And we are definitely on Facebook, Lumonics Light and Sound Gallery. Sweet. Well, thanks, man. Oh, well, thank you, Jay Bondi. We're really, it's always a pleasure to see you guys.